All praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, who in the Hebrew's name is Yahweh, right? In the name of the Heavenly Son, whose name is Yahweh Shah, man, right? Who are we? We're the children of the Most High God, man, right? We are the servants of the Lord, man, right? We go by Yahweh's camp, and we come out here week in, week out, man, to teach our people, man, and to rise our people up out of the dry uh, bones of America, man, right? We come out here to prophesy against a wicked uh, city called Raleigh, man, right? To get our people out of poverty, to bring our people the good news, man, that they are the children of the Most High God, man, right? Give me, uh... Give me Proverbs 6 and 9, right? Give me all uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 11, right? All praise to the Most High. Up, hey, show it on, sister. Hey, what's going on? Hey, uh, you see yourself on that sign right there? Right? Hey, on one side, you're going to see what the world calls you, right? And on the other side, you're going to see what the Bible calls you, right? The, the mighty tribe of Judah, right? So what we're out here teaching, sister, is uh, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are actually the true children of the Bible, right? We're the true children of God. You ever heard that before, sister? Right? You heard that we're actually go back to the Israelites, right? We're God's chosen people, right? Uh, scrap what you got. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 14 and 1, right? Give me uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, right? The sister going, the sister going, uh... Yeah, she gonna, she gonna listen to a minute, right? We're gonna teach, man, right? We out here to lift our people up, right? That's right. They, they say nothing but bad stuff about us, but we out here giving our people the good news, right? right. And these fake, these fake Christians, man, they're not gonna come out here and teach our people the right way, right? right. We out here to bring the good news to our people and teach our people their true nationality and their heritage. Because right. our nationality and heritage has been lost. Right? We call ourselves Hispanic, we call ourselves Native American, we call ourselves black. Let's see what the Most High God called us, right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 1. Ye are the children of the Lord your God. Hey, what is this, sister? Ye are the children of the Lord your God. And the Lord said, we are the children of the Most High God, man. Right? Yeah. We're the chosen seed, man, that the Lord put on this earth, man, right? Yeah. Hey, there's no other people more special than the, uh, the children of Israel, man. Right? We look the best, we cook the best, we dance the best. We got all the inventions, man, right? We got the most creative minds, man, on the earth, man. The Lord put a special spirit on our people, man. Right? Read verse 2, King. Khan. Verse 2. For thou art an holy people. Hey, what is this, sister? For thou art an holy people. What else? Unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself. Above all the nations that are upon the earth. Now we're equal to above all the nations that are upon the earth. You see that, sister? The Bible says we're above all nations that are on the earth, right? Aren't we the best looking people? Aren't we the smartest? Didn't we invent everything? You see that? Then we got the swagger. Then we got the juice. You see that? The, the Lord is telling us that we're, the, we're God's chosen people. We're above all these other nations, right? They, they don't have the swag that we got, right? They don't have the uh, they don't have the spirit that the Lord put on our people, right? Read, read what you got, King. A good army seven and six. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord. That's like what are they? For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto What are they? A special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more member than any people, for you were the fuse of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he will keep the oath with thee I sworn unto our fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And that's all I want to know, right? So the Lord chose the uh, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be special unto him, right? But let's see what the Bible says. Give me all, uh, go back to that Proverbs 6 and 9, right? And give me all, uh, go, go to Romans 13 and 11. Read what you got. Proverbs 6 and 9. Uh -huh. How long will thou sleep? Oh, hey, what people? How long will thou sleep, right. O oh, sluggard? Uh -huh. When will thou arise out of thy sleep? So we are here to wake our people up out of their sleep, right? We are here to wake our people up out of the ways of America, right? Because our people can't follow the customs of these other nations, man. Our people want to celebrate Pride Day, right? Our people want to participate in Father's Day, right? 
Our people want to participate in 4th of July when that had nothing to do with our people, man. Right? right? Our people are, are accustomed to following the customs of the other nations, man. Right? We are here to teach our people that we have our own customs according to this Bible. Right. We have our own feast days according to this Bible. Right? right? The Bible says we are holy people, meaning we're set apart from all these other nations. Right? We're not like these poor faced dogs walking up and down Greenwood Avenue, man. Right? We're not like these wicked uh, Arabs, man. That, uh, that, that put our people in slavery, right? right? The Bible says we're God's chosen people. We say, he said we're a people brought unto himself, right? Hey, the Lord said he could have chose any nation on the face of the earth, right? But he chose all people. He chose all people, man, to be that righteous seed, man. It's high time for our people to wake up, right? It's high time for our people to learn who their enemy is in this country, man, right? Because these other nations, they don't care nothing about you, man. Right? We gotta stop holding hands with our oppressor. Right? Because it's no, done nothing good for us, man. These people put us in slavery. These people ripped our backs. Still to this day, man, these people shoot us down in the streets unjustly, man. Right? Still to this day, these people have an evil eye for our people. Right? Hey, give me uh, 1 Maccabees 2 and 10. Right? Give me 1 Maccabees 2 and 10. Read what you got. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to await. Hey, what time is it? And that knowing in time that now is the time to awake uh -huh. out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we were to believe. Hey, salvation is nearer than we believe, man. And hey, the Lord said the kingdom of heaven is nigh, man. Right? And hey, we got a grace period now, man, where the Lord should have given us mercy, man. Right? Hey, but how long is that grace period going to last? Right? And hey, the Lord said we have to return unto him. Right? We have to stop trusting these other nations. Right? We have to go back to being that holy people. Right? God chose us above all these other nations, man. Not to be walking up in Greenwood Avenue, man, participating in all this folly in America, man. Right? Getting drunk in one of these bars on the Lord's Sabbath day, man. Right? Getting drunk out of our mind, man, in one of these wicked uh, establishments, man. Hey, the Lord's not dealing with that, man. Right? The Lord's not, the Lord don't want the daughters of Sarah out here uh, guiding up and down the uh, streets of Greenwood Avenue, man. Hey, the Lord said we have to be holy people, man. Right? Not like these damn poor faced devils, man. Right? When are you going to stop wanting to hold hands with your oppressor? Right? When are you going to rile up, rile that spirit up, and put on that spirit of righteousness in these last days, man? Right? Hey, we're special people according to the Bible, right? But we can't be participating and holding hands and practicing the witchcraft of these other nations. Practicing the vain doctrines of these damn heathens, man. They got you celebrating 4th of July and Father's Day, which has nothing to do with the children of Israel, man. Our, it's high time for our people to wake up, man. Right? Realize who your enemy is. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of God. And y'all got men for a Bible verse? Right? Y'all believe in the Bible? We're out here teaching y'all that y'all are the children of God. Right? Y'all are the Israelitos. Right? Y'all are the true Hudios, man. Right? Y'all are the Jews and the Israelites of this Bible. It's high time for our people to come back to the Lord, man. Right? Hey, give me Hosea 14 and 1. Right? Read what you got, King. This is the book of 1 Maccabees 2 and 10. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom? Hey, what the Bible say? What nation have not had a part in a king? Hey, all these other heathen nations at one point had your people in slavery, right? Still to this day, man, they walk up and down Greenwood Avenue and stay in land, right? And they and they have a powerful spirit on them, man. Right? They think they are on this land, man. Right? Their forefathers came across this place, colonized our people, and they walk up and down Greenwood Avenue with a uh, powerful spirit, man. Right? That's that pride of Esau, man. Right, give me Obadiah 1 and 3, right? Our people got to stop holding hands with their oppressor, right? Our people got to stop holding hands with these other nations, right? Our people got to come back to the Lord, man, right? Stop, stop wanting to be confederate with all these other nations, man, right? After they put your people in slave ships, after they hung your people, after they whip your people, man, right? After they stole your land, right? When is our people going to wake up, right? You got to stop holding hands with these damn devils, man, right? They have no love for you, man. How, long, how much is it going to take till you realize, man, that these people have no love for you, man? Right. right? The Lord said to deal with your own nation. That's what being holy is all about, right? The Lord said, set yourself apart from all these other heathens, man. Right? Hey, we got a, we got a special bloodline on us, man. Right? We got a special spirit to our people, right? But we got to start wanting to mingle in and mix with all these other nations, man. Hey, hey, salvation is going to come, man. The Lord's going to come and destroy this place, man.
right? And what side are you going to be on, man? Are you going to be on the side of your oppression, or are you going to be in holiness like the Lord told you to be, right? If we come out here week in, week out, right, in downtown Raleigh to wake our people up, to teach our people the good news and the good doctrine, right? That you have salvation coming, right? Salvation is not for all these other nations, man, right? The Lord don't come to bring salvation to these other nations. What do they need salvation from? They know who they are. They know what country they go back to, right? They have land. They have prosperity, right? The only people that need salvation are so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, God's chosen people, man, right? If you can't see your people in this book, man, you got to read and, and go in deep detail, man. The Bible says nation not desired. What nation has not been desired in this place? What nation can't get a fair shake, right? Who's the first uh, first uh, fire in that side, man, right? Who's got to worry about riding in their car, man, getting pulled over unjustly? Who's got to worry about getting gunned down, man, right? Who do these other nations have an evil eye for, man? If you can't realize that this Bible's talking about you, you need to read them deep, man. You need to get in depth with these scriptures, man. You need to gather yourself together with brothers that's going to teach you, man, right? Read what you got, King. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 14, verse 1. Uh -huh. O Israel, return oh. to thy Lord thy God. Oh, who? Oh, Israel, return to the Lord thy God. And that's what we come out here to do. We come out here to teach our people to return to the Lord thy God, right? To return to the nationality, the heritage, the statutes, the commandments of the Lord, right? Because this Bible is your heritage, man, right? Who wasn't given a religion, right? Our heritage is the commandment to the Heavenly Father. Our heritage is, ha is having that zeal and having that holiness on us, right? Our heritage, man, is following the ways of the Lord, man. Right? And the heavenly son, man. Right? Not to go batting up in Broad Greenwood Avenue, man. Not to always be looking for a good time in America, man. Our heritage is to be holy, man. And that's what we come out here to do to teach our people. Right? Rise up out of that sleep, man. Right? Wake up, man. Stop loving your oppressor. Right? Gather yourself together with brothers, man. Right? This is a brotherhood, man. This ain't no religion you can just convert to. Right? You can't wake up one day and just be an Arab, man. You can't wake up one day and be a Chinese, man. Right? And you can't just convert to the ways of this Bible, man. This Bible was given only to one people, right? The children of Israel, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read that again, King. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 14, verse 1. O Israel, return oh, who? O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. You see that? We have fallen by our iniquity, man. Right? Our people have fallen in a deep state of sin, right? And the only way to get ourselves out of that is to repent, right? The Lord said repent or perish, man. And we don't want to see none of our people perish, man. So we come out here week in, week out to try to rise our people up, right? Not to give them a uh, vain philosophy. Not to give them the wicked doctrines of men, right? Not to just go off our own our interpretation. We come in, thus saith the Lord, man, right? Hey, give me, uh, give me First Maccabees 2 and 50, man, right? Give me First Maccabees 2 and 50, right? Hey, give me Proverbs 2 and 1. The book of Proverbs 3 and 1, right? Because all you have on Greenwood Avenue is a bunch of folly, right? All I see out here on Greenwood Avenue is a bunch of damn vanity, man, right? Literally a vanity out here on Greenwood Avenue. Let me look good, right? Let me shine good, right? Let me sound good, right? And that's wickedness, man. The Lord's not dealing with that, especially on this holy day, man, right? And the Lord said, remember the Sabbath day, man, right? How many of our people actually remember the Sabbath day? Right? I thought that was one of the Ten Commandments, man. Right? How you calling yourself a Christian, but you don't do nothing that Hamashiach says, man? Right? How you calling yourself a Christian, but you don't never put this book up, man? Right? And it's high time for our people to wake up. Right? It's high time for our people to get that zeal for the Lord back, man. Right? Hey, hey, in the past, man, our people had a mighty zeal for the Heavenly Father, man. Right? Look at our ancestors, man. Look at David, man. Look at Solomon. Right? Look at Moses, man, right? And it's high time for our people to wake up, man, right? And what you see up here, man? Well, I see you doing a lot of looking, man. What you see, man? <laughs> hey, read that, uh, 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 First Maccabees 2 and 50. Now, therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law. Hey, what the Bible say? Be ye zealous for the law. And give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Hey, that's what we're trying to do, man. We're trying to bring our people back to the covenant, right? We're trying to bring our people back to the doctrine of the Heavenly Father, man, right? 
We're trying to teach our people that their heritage is the covenant of the Most High God, man. Right to follow these commandments. And the Lord said, forget not my law. Right? And give me Sirach 24 and 23. Right? Read what you got, King. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 1. My son forgot not my law. What the Bible say? My son forgot not my law. But let thine heart keep my commandments. Hey, the Lord said keep them commandments on your heart, man. Day in, day out, man. And we're supposed to be meditating on the word, man. We're supposed to be meditating on the word of God, man. Right? Not out here wanting to have a good damn time on Greenwood Avenue. Right? Hey, y'all brothers got a minute for the Bible? We out here teaching the Bible, man. Y'all mighty brothers got a minute for the word? Right? I know y'all got a minute for the Bible verse. Come on, kings. We out here for y'all, man. Read what you got, king. It's the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 3. For I wish... It's like it. For, for I could wish that my... For I could wish that I were a curse from Christ for my brethren, for my kinsmen, According to the flesh, verse four, who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Uh -huh. Who pertaineth the adoption uh -huh. and the glory and the covenants and give? Slack it and the givings of the law and of the service of Yahweh and the promise. You see that everything's for the Israelites, man. The covenant, the giving of the law, right? The northern kingdoms adopted back in, right? The servants of the Most High God, right? It belongs to the Levites, right? The Lord's not dealing with all these other nations, man, right? All these other nations put our people in slavery, man. The Lord's only dealing with the children of Israel, man, right? Show me where there was a prophet that was over another nation, man, right? When did Christ make disciples of these other nations, man, right? You want to realize that this, this Bible, this Bible is all about so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Right, we don't give a damn about you other nations, man. We see how y'all look at us. We see how y'all scoff at us. You see that? Hey, that was a sign from the Most High, man. You see that? That was a sign from the Heavenly Father, man. And we, we hope this place gets destroyed, man. Right? We hope this place gets destroyed, man. Right? And you're seeing, you're seeing the birth pains of America crumbling. Right? You're seeing the birth pains of America crumbling, man. Right? Hey, the, the, uh, the electric uh, grid is falling, man. The economy is falling. You got wars in every other nation's man. And you're getting ready to see a world war like you've never seen, man. Me and the brother was talking about that last week. You're getting ready to see a world war in this place of the likes you have never seen, man. Right? So it's high time now that you return back to the Heavenly Father. Right? That's why you see men on street corners in every city trying to lift our people up, man. Right? Hey, this isn't your so-called pastor in the pulpit. Right, this is true men of the Lord coming out here teaching the gospel, man. But thus saith the Lord. Read what you got, King. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus 24 and 23. Con. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Even the law which Moses commanded for an heritage unto the congregation of Jacob. You see that? This law, these covenants, right? The congregation that was all given to the children of Israel, man. Right. right? The Lord gave the law to Jacob, man. Not every other nation, man. Right? Stop trying to share your inheritance with every nation, man. Right? Stop trying to draft these other nations in, man. This 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 covenant goes to bloodlines, man. Right? So-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. It's high time that you wake up, man. America's crumbling, man. Stop relying on your damn oppressor, man. Right? And we got a new kingdom coming in this place, man. Right, where righteousness is going to rule over, man, by a so-called black man whose name is Yahweh Shad and Mashiach, man. Right? A lot of you heathens, man, you're going to be surprised when you see the Lord come back with these angels, man. Right? Bringing death and destruction on this place, man. Woe right. right to America, man. Woe right to this wicked kingdom, man. Right? We put our people in slavery, man. Right? We prophesied against Raleigh, North Carolina, man. The hell with you damn heathens, man. Right? The hell with you other nations, man. Give me uh, Tobit 4 and 5. You got an apocrypha? Give me the book of Tobit, chapter 4, verse 5. I ain't going to take too much of brother's time up, right? I'm going to pass it to the next speaker, man. Right? But I had to get a couple in right quick, man. Right? Hey, all praise to the most high, man. You see your brothers gathered together in unison, man, in righteousness, man. Right? They don't like to see this out here, man. They don't like to see righteous brothers come out here, man, and teach you the word of God in sincerity and truth, man. Right? These people want lies. They want some new words, man. Right, we out here teaching our people the truth, man. Uh, this is a, this is a message of repentance. Come
come back to the Heavenly Father while you can, man. Right? Come back to the Heavenly Father while you got the time, man. Give me Mark 1 and 15. Read what you got, King. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 4, verse 5. My son, be mindful of the Lord our God all thy days, and let not thy will be set to sin or to transgress his commandments. Do uprightly all thy life long, and follow not the ways of the unrighteousness. All praise to the Most High, man. And that's what we are here teaching our people, man. Right? That not follow the ways of the unrighteousness. For our people to repent, right? We are here teaching our people their nationality and their heritage, man. Right? We are here teaching the people the covenant to the Most High God that they made, man. Right? It's high time for our people to wake up, man. Right? You got these damn race soldiers on the scene, right? Our people gotta stop holding hands with these damn police, man. Right? Our people gotta stop joining the white man's damn army, man. Stop joining the white man's police force, man. Right? Shooting your people down in the streets and pulling guns on your damn people, man. What the hell's wrong with us, man? Right? These damn police don't give a damn about us, man. And they hate to see the servants of the Lord out here, man. Right? And y'all got a minute for a Bible verse? And we are here teaching our people that we're the true children of Israel, man. That's our nationality and heritage. Read what you got, King. That'll be my last one. This is the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 15. And saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, do, do what? Repent, do what? Repent. Repent ye and believe the gospel. All praise to the Most High, man. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are God's chosen people, right? You are above all these other nations. You are that chosen seed that come out of Adam, right? It's high time for our people to wake up. But with that, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. We say, call on Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, right? And death to these other nations. Death to these other nations. Come on, Shalom. Come on, Shalom. Come on, Shalom. Come on, Shalom. Come on, Shalom.